What's up, everybody? It is your sis and your friend, Crystal Cross, right here on the Morning Jam Podcast, where we talk about any and everything. Personal, old snaps and claps. It's a dang good day to talk about a few things. So let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It is your sis and your friend, Crystal Cross, right here on the Morning Jam Podcast. Special guest, Sierra Stallworth. What's up, sis? What's up? Hey, 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 hey. And the one and only Grace Melton right here with us on this day. (laughs) What's up, everybody? Y'all know I'm always clapping my hands because, you know, that's when things get serious. And we know it means business. So I'm so happy to be with you guys today and with your sister and your friend and Sierra. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome again, sis. Happy okay, to be back. So go ahead and get started and let you introduce yourself and okay. tell the people what you do. Okay, so I'm Sierra Stallworth. I am a mom of two. JJ is five and Sia is three. I'm married to my college sweetheart. We are first fam. Um, if you know, you know what that is. Um, I am a purpose-filled business coach. So I teach women how to find purpose and create and launch business off of that. And I also teach them how to face their fears. Yes. that's awesome that's awesome because you know what at one point in time I had so many fears here like even going out on my own doing my own thing stepping away from my family mm-hmm. because you know we Grace is my baby sister, sister biologically blood this is blood here yeah. and it took me quite some some time to let go and even still now I have still that hold on to my family like oh I can't I can't let go I just I'm still what happened to my leg here? What? Clap on. Clap off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what? Hold on. Great. It's so Look. funny. But you know, I think it's because our parents put into us so strongly, Sierra, to um put family first, you know. Yes. And so read that into us until that was all we was thinking about like uh-uh, I'm not separating from my family we're always going to be together we're always going to do this and then when we started growing up and having se- different um agendas different mm-hmm. roles separate agendas yeah yes we struggled mm-hmm. we thought that we wouldn't we was together for so long yes. we did everything we traveled together together this, yo this, i identify this, with that i don't know if i said this on the last podcast but i actually am a twin so i have a t- <laughs> yes yeah, so i have a twin sister her name is tiara and you know obviously we've been together forever and so up until college so we actually went to separate colleges i went to an hbcu and she went to a christian uh christian college and so it was a struggle like a uh, for real struggle. thank god for facetime it was just even it maybe sophomore year where we were in college FaceTime was the thing we've been using it since we literally changed to Apple I think it was the iPhone 4 just because it we could talk to each other all day like this yeah like and we do it every day since then so that's so the we've been like, doing it for like a decade that's the thing with twins you got to like stay connected yeah. with one another. well because here's the thing I know our podcast is not about this but I'm going here so if she's having like an attitude and I'm having an attitude, then we off. Like, just be sorry for the people who's next to us and receiving these attitudes because they on they on a thousand, they on level right. a thousand because we're both feeling that same. Urgh. And if we're yeah. both happy, oh Lord, we have you could just feel the light beaming off yeah. of us. We're so connected, we're super connected, and so I yeah. feel that. You know what happens? Yeah, we have separate it's- agendas when you. You yeah. planned your life thinking that it was going to be together forever. Yeah. You know? Right. But right. God's calling you guys to separate to do separate things. Right, right. And even like I was saying, even now for me, I want to step away. I want to do my own thing. Mm-hmm. And I am doing my own you thing. Are. But it's, it's still like it's a struggle. Not yeah. a struggle. It's just like, oh my God, am I doing the right thing? I'm so used to doing everything with my family. Oh God, yeah. what is really going on in my life? You know, you have that big <laughs> moment where you yeah. talk to God, but you know what? If we just trust him, mm-hmm. yep. if we just trust him in every move, it's gonna be okay. So, what did you tell someone that's having so much fear? And it's separation and anxiety. Out. Yes, that's so what it is. You think about it. it yeah. is separation anxiety. But for anyone who's having fear, and I normally deal with fear of rejection, 
Um, I tell them to go back to the first time they were rejected and rewrite their story and take their power back. And so I often share this, and I share this with you all, that my father wasn't there. You know, he, he just wasn't there. And younger, as a, as a growing up teen, I just thought he, he didn't love me enough to be there. You know, I thought it was all about, you know, me. You know, he didn't like me you know, something, it just, something about me, because it was a lot that the enemy had over my, my mind, over, over, over me, and so I started making horrible decisions as a teen, I, yeah. horrible decisions, you know, with who I was dating, and all, and yeah. all the things, and it wasn't until I became an adult, and to a business owner, I realized, holy moly, my, I've given my father too much power, he too doesn't get power. Yeah. that power, especially with what, I'm allowing him to do to me is making me look like him. I didn't, I look like him. Yeah. I look like I'm a Papa yeah. was a Rolling Stone. Like, I don't want to look like my father. I want to look like this father, but I don't want to look like my bio, my biological father. And so um, I start rewriting my story. And now I say, you know, he wasn't there because he wasn't fit to raise this woman, right? He wasn't fit to raise a woman of God. And I, I needed to that. go through that. Oh and my so gosh. I took yeah. my power back. <laughs> Yeah. And so yeah. I help women take their power back and yeah. I help them, you know, when they, when they feel those fears come up, cause they're going to come up every single day. It's uh, uh-uh, yeah. go back to it and rewrite it. You didn't deal with it. You didn't rewrite it strong enough. Take your power and then move forward. Sarah, I need you to help me take my power back. Okay. <laughs> you want to talk about it now? Or you want to talk about it off, offline? No, I'm talking about it now. Like, like I was okay. just telling you, like fear for me, it was just, like I said, Pick even now, it's, it's hard. Fear. What'd you say? What 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 fear, what type of fear is taking over you right now? What is making um, you like pause? You can't move forward. Getting away from my family. I just, uh, and, and at some Where are you point, trying to go? I, I'm trying to do me. And when I say me, I'm trying to work with my podcast. What what you got to say? Bro? No, what's getting away like? Leaving Yeah, us? that's what I'm like. Yeah. I'm like, you are you moving? moving? Uh, oh great we got the same question where Listen, are you going like, I, I, do. I want to be in a place where I feel like I want to step away leave Arkansas I've been here all of my life I want wait to- where y'all at in Arkansas again Batesville Arkansas is it, how close is that to me I'm in NWA I'm in northwest Arkansas like Bentonville Fayetteville oh yeah. that's three hours oh well we gotta so one of these weekends, I'll have to come. I'll drive to you guys. We can kick it. Yes. Yes. So. We'll we'll drive drive you because ain't nothing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Drive here. It will kick it. I'll take you. I'll take you. <laughs> but that's what it's, but that's like I want to move away. I want to get no. If okay, even someone move. like I am, it's like I can. Use, I don't want to use this word because a lot of women use this word, and it's being like independent woman, like doing what I want to do. And, and it's not even to just prove myself, it's to let, and it's really to show who I am as a person. Have you, know? you ever tried to be alone before? No. Why? Or why haven't, why haven't you tried? Not like it's, the, not like it's a bad thing you haven't, but what, why what has happened? Why haven't I tried to do what? Be alone. Be alone. Do it. Did you ever go, did you go away for college? What, what have you, what, no. any attempts? So the I'm only the attempt you've had is business, business right. ventures. That's the only thing you've done by yourself. Right. Have you succeeded? Yes. Yes. Um, well, <laughs> yes. 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 So that means that you are capable of going by yourself. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So you're not going to be able to face this fear until you get a little bit more life experiences because you didn't even recognize the success you have in the little steps you've been taking. Yes, that's it. <laughs> you gotta take bigger steps. <laughs> you gotta take a little step, but one step at a time. And you've been taking them and God's been with you. And that's why you keep moving forward instead of side to side. Because when God's okay. moving with you, you move forward. And so keep moving forward. And you will see that that fear is no more because by the time you realize what you're doing, you gone, you out of Batesville. Because he's blessed before, you. Wait, wait, wait. But before you could say something, Grace, it, it's like that I make those steps and then I make that step, those steps back because I feel oh, like- Oh, because you're trying to be in control. 
Dang, you were okay. stuck on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I said, do you want to do it online? Or you want to do it offline? We're gonna just yeah, do it being no, you. <laughs> no, I, I need this. I'm joking. And, and I, I am one to not. I'm not ashamed to admit when I'm wrong. I'm not ashamed to admit when I need you help. You ain't did nothing wrong. Your process is your process, and everything right. you've been doing is for a reason. Every step has been purpose filled. Everything gets his glory. He's t- he's teaching you something everything and so move what moving forward looks like is what you tell me what moving forward looks like how do we take that step forward taking the step forward making that step <laughs> what's the next step you got to do without grace <laughs> that's hard do you, you can't say it out loud look at grace's face okay, you need to say it I don't, when you say stuff, you're speaking into the universe. No, but the thing there. is, I don't know if, my, if I'm right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. What? Talk to the Holy Spirit. He's literally our source of truth. So say yeah. it, and then if, 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 you're not, if you're feeling empty inside, then it's not the right thing. Speak it out loud. And then look, ask God to send you audible, written signs everywhere to show that that's what you're supposed to be doing. Ask him. You got to speak to him like God's. Yeah. Show me in every way that you possibly can that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, I had right. to do it while I was on the last call with y'all. Y'all made me get my date all out here up in these streets. <laughs> 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 I was like, y'all right, call me the darn out. Okay, okay, okay. What is it? What is the next step? I'm about to squirrel us. Um, moving forward and don't look back. Okay, where we going though? Where, where we going? going? <laughs> I need you to get specific. It ain't. Crystal, it ain't real if you don't get specific. If I could talk today. (laughs) Well, let me tell you, the thing is, I don't, I don't want to leave my son because I feel like, okay, I need to get him situated first. Who with you? Well, he's going to college. Oh, he's He's going off to college. Wait wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mm -mm, ma'am. I know y'all made me do a whole introduction. I feel like I didn't. How? You have an 18-year-old son, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> Listen, and I hear that all the time. Like, Crystal, he, he's grown. He's in his own world. And he's in his that. own world. So, wait. So, your plan looks like you're waiting for him to go off to college. That's what your plan looks like. So, you got me fanning, girl. I'm hot. Yes. Okay. So, when does he go off to college? When does he start? <laughs> um, in August. Okay, August. Okay, that's getting close to a date for me. Okay, so August, sun leaves. I got to write this down or we're going to forget. Sun leaves for college. Okay, yeah. what does that mean for you? Because she still didn't give me any specifics yeah. of what we do. I know, she, and I don't think she's going to get specific because I'm sitting here like, I'm waiting. Listen, okay, so for me, <laughs> she wanna I, know want, too. I, want, I want to go off, and that's, that's it too. You want to go off where? I want to go off and um go find it i wouldn't say find it just pursue more into it and that is my podcast i want to go off and make sure that um, where you got to go to get there you mean like go to la where you trying to go 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 to to atlanta atlanta Atlanta. (laughs) we got a place look grace i'm like this (laughs) (laughs) i'm like come on (laughs) okay atlanta what else we do with atlanta um we're gonna meet people. Absolutely. So can we meet them now? Can we meet some people in the industry and what all these are pursuing? Yes, I, I have already. All right. I want to step off into that's a step. That's a huge step. I said, it what is. steps have you making to get to get going? Where are you going? You've already been connecting with people in Atlanta. That's it. I have not made those steps because of I feel oh. for my son. And and again. Oh. I have met people in Atlanta. I want to even step off into a little acting. I want to work my podcast in Atlanta. I want to connect with a lot of more women. And just you want to have fun. It's going. <laughs> Stop it right now. <laughs> this light is irritating me. <laughs> so basically, you want to go Atlanta for self discovery and an enlightenment and a just to pursue crystal yes so you can be alone for the very first time because you've been raising an 18 year old that you forgot to mention a long time ago when you, when you was, 
alone. I don't want, I, I, I yeah, right. Sure. I will going to be alone. Who going with her? What you know, Grace? Because I feel like she's leaving an attachment to attach to another attachment. You oh, who is there? Who so, is there? It's nobody. Okay, oh, we okay. can't get into specifics, but okay. from, a, from a, a sister, a best friend, okay. and looking, you know, looking in, I feel like that okay. my sister with the life events that's happened, I feel like, okay, when have you gotten to know yourself? And so that's why some of these questions are very difficult to her. They are difficult. I feel like he, I feel like she hasn't taken the time out to learn crystal. Hey, I'm feeling the same way you're feeling. We we on the way. Is that what you was gonna say like five minutes ago? Yes. Oh, and, and okay. Lord. I, feel I like, can't believe you kept that in this whole time. Because I want I want her to share that with you and for her because sometimes she'll say. Grace, quit talking to me like I'm a child. No, like, yes. no. <laughs> she does. And I'm, I'm like, Crystal, I'm not trying to talk to you as if you're a child. I'm just talking to you as someone <laughs> that has went through very similar experiences and made some of the very same things that you're going through right now. But I forgot to learn me. Me, and yeah. I, that, and that's what it seems like. It's so important. And that right. is so important. And so I had to learn me on the back end. That's right. After everything that I done went through, you know, and now I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up. New crazy. I have got to learn me, <laughs> you know. And That's so right. then I learned me in a different time in my life when I should have learned me in the quiet time of my life. Oh, you know, my in that goodness. time that I had, you know, quiet, peaceful thinking. So definitely I have learned myself in, in this process too. Okay, what's your question? Are you disagreeing, Grace? I definitely have. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. No, not you. I was saying I don't think she was disagreeing. I'm not saying I'm not disagreeing oh. with you. <laughs> okay, so you've gotten said, to know yourself in this in this season. Because you asked me the same questions at the point of my life that I went through, I would the answers were very familiar because I asked myself those questions and I could I had to say it or yeah. uh I have to I'm gonna I'm gonna I wanna do this, but but yep. Yeah, and it was always something holding me back. And the biggest person that can hold you back is you because you really know your own strengths and your own. I can agree so, with that. And so, Grace, I, I know you want to be a, a singer and all, but I feel like you need to be a coach. I know. If, I'm, if you give me the connections, I will. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, you need to be a coach immediately. You have so much uh, power and light in your soul, ma'am. The way you will bless women will be unimaginable. God will blow your mind. Grace already blessed women. <laughs> okay, that's not, she, it's, it, it's in are, her. She's yeah. born with it. She's born and, with and it. That's where, you know, I feel like, and I Thank always you. tell Crystal, I always tell Crystal, Crystal, you have got to clear the clutter and, and learn you. Learn what you love without the love being with someone else and your love is just behind the love of someone else. Mm -hmm. Learn to love you when it's quiet and no one mm -hmm. else is there to comfort you, but you can comfort yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and be happy when you walk out this door. If nobody mm -hmm. ever called you again, if nobody ever said, I love you again, can you love yourself and say, I'm, I'm enough with Christ and me? Yes. Can you? Okay, I need to, that's a, the type of yes I need to hear. Well, I was going to say with you and your, I love when she said life experiences because me and T say that to each other all the time. Like, yes, you and your life experiences. Yes, with you and all the things that you want to do, it sounds like you do need to pursue Crystal in this journey because you may find that God may have you on a completely different path, but he's used all of these to show you that you were made for more, but you may have to seek who he's designed you to be. Like what, what is one of these things that fill you, that fills you up with purpose? Otherwise you're going to be chasing paper, but we're not filled with the utmost purpose. We chase paper. And I've been there. I've chased the paper oh. years and years and years thinking I was chasing my purpose. Yeah. And then the, when the paper go, then you're like, what happened? Wait a minute. Or when the paper start going down, you're like, ah, I don't want to do this anymore. But if I was filled with purpose, I would have kept going, you know? But it, mm -mm, I was chasing that paper. And so as you do in your heart and in your mind and your soul get centered on him in pursuing who he mm -hmm. created you to be, ask yourself, 
what brings me joy. And yeah. you may you may not have to wait till August to get by yourself. You can go by yourself on the weekend, get an art hotel, go by yourself, make sure it has a lazy river or something, make sure, make sure it has something where you can get zen and pray and say, okay, nobody's here with me. What do I want to tell? Talk to little baby crystal or not baby crystal, but teenage crystal. What do you want? What do you want to tell her now? And start rewriting your story. Start rewriting the next steps of your life. What what won't happen these next years? What needs to happen these next years? Talk to her and tell her what you want to tell her and start taking your power. Say, okay, this is what I need to do. I was scared when I was a teenager. And I saw Crystal's face and she was kind of like to say, I was like, we look so pitiful sitting here. <laughs> intently, intently listening. But I, my, my solid sound advice is before you get by yourself in Atlanta or wherever God wants to take you next, because he will speak to you, is to find some time by yourself. It is more valuable to get by yourself before you throw yourself in the fire in the wolves. Truly get by yourself, because your sister said you you may be going into something else, but not, not really by yourself in Atlanta. So she punted that to me. And so get by yourself over a weekend. You can do this immediately. You can do this or whenever you have time, because I know you're busy. And talk to young Crystal and talk and tell her everything you need to tell her. And you it's know. actually crazy, Sarah, that you say that because I actually have been doing that here lately. Um, I feel it. And I, I definitely been, getting sitting centered. Here, been sitting here in my apartment and just really thinking, like talking like Crystal. And it's not like, oh, Crystal, you know what? you need to do this this needs to happen it's like crystal what the heck like you have you could have been so far off you know better off in this grinding doing great things but you know this held me back this held me back that decision that i made held me back and there's a lot of times where i said crystal that fear that you had it will never come to pass again because I'm speaking it now into existence like when Thank i you. when do it, it comes i'm what is that that familiar thing that you think, oh, okay, um, that's not going to harm me. That's not going to hold me back anymore. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. Um, and it is. It's actually taking the power back. And I felt like <laughs> at times I was so weak. I was like so weak. And I was too, and even now I'm sensitive, but I was too sensitive. Yeah, I, mean, I was mm -hmm. too of letting people control. You I know what? So I was sitting here thinking about why do you all not want to be alone? And why did, why have I struggled with that? And I wouldn't say that I dealt with it because literally I went off to college and I met my husband. We'd been together since, right? So I haven't truly gotten to feel that alone feeling. And so, so why do we all three of us have this feeling alone when it doesn't come from anything negative? We just know what we desire our families to be like and it's close. Yeah. And that's beautiful. So I wouldn't say that it's a fear. I would just say it's a desire to have. Now, can you do things by yourself? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. But I lost my I lost my train of thought. But moving forward, just recognizing that you're never alone and that you're with Christ. He's always with you and he will always be with you. I truly lost my train of thought though. It was something about all three of us being alone and it being a positive thing we needed to. Not that we had to take the power back, but that it's it's a beautiful thing don't put don't put the negative spin on it and make it feel like oh it's got me by the neck it's fear oh fear of man that's what i was gonna say it's actually called the fear of man i knew it was gonna come to me it's fear of man and sometimes our fear of man is can be because you know my mom was so great i want to be so great right but no you ain't gonna be a, the like your your mom but i know both of you probably desire to have family a family that's close like yours and so you know, Jesus died on the cross, so we don't have, we just shouldn't have to fear anything because that died. Anxiety, fear, all of that went with him. That went. And so if you are scared to be alone because of something of your family would say about you, 
well, let that thing go. But if you are afraid because you desire to have a family that is together, that's in the same city, well, then you can build something like that where you're going. You can, you can create new friends. You can build new family. You can, you know, you will have that in your new, yeah. in your new area. You just got to, it's a mind shift. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's the fear of man, then you got, bye, bye. Why are you so scared of them? If they talked about you when you was younger, they definitely talking about you right now. And they definitely gonna talk about you when you leave. And so bye. let them talk. So. <laughs> you know, and that's what I always, me first I always say, Grace, you will do anything. It's, you will. It's because oh, for y'all. I'm not afraid of people. Because in my mind, you're going to talk about me when, if I do good. Yeah. You're going to talk about me if I do bad. Oh so my God. I, I put off pursuing what I love and I want to do. There's nothing That's wrong right. with it. And so, and Chris was like, oh, you just so bold. Oh, you just say anything. Oh, you just do anything, Grace. No, it's not <laughs> that. It's just that I've taken that control, that power back from people. That fear of man. Well, I, you don't have the fear yeah, of man anymore. That's I powerful. And when I, I moved church, churches, um, this October will be two years that I've moved church. We were like in a family-based church. Mm -hmm. And, but I felt like my Christianity was attached. And you want to get my, fed? You weren't getting fed. I've had to do it. I was, I felt like my Christianity was attached to my sisters. You know what I mean? It was just yes. attached. I didn't feel my 100% in Christianity unless I know I, it's with my family. The Holy Spirit is just <laughs> with my family and nobody else. You I love y'all family. Yeah. So yes, it, but in the sense, I felt like I was drowning. I felt like yeah. I was being yeah. very, in a shadow. Drowning. Yeah, because they still had their opinions. Right. It's like they needed a, they had a need for me to be present, be but proud. not a need of me. My so goodness, I wish Tierra was on this that. podcast with me right now. Right. Lord. When I saw that, I was like, Grace, you are going to burn in hell if you do not <laughs> find Christ for yourself <laughs> and not yeah. finding it through your sisters or through this and through that. And so I, oh, it was yeah. so hard. I cried for weeks <laughs> when I moved churches. I cried, but God would not let me go back. He's mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, this is not for you because they are, they are raping you emotionally, mentally, yes. and physically. Come on, come on. And I was uh, say, why God? Why am I allowing people to just continue to rape me? And that's okay. just taking your spiritual. I'm telling you, I felt so, it was, a, it was draining, like, oh, it was just not <laughs> heavy. And I'm not talking bad about my, my friends and our church. I'm not talking about that. No, nah, you ain't even said nothing about, about them. You didn't say why you left. You just said, that's what I needed. Yeah. It, but it was just, and then once I started and I got mm -hmm. alone, when I really got alone and stood in this place, like yeah. you are in the middle of a desert and the only thing you see is sand floating that's around me. And nobody else is. It. That's when I finally learned who Christ was in my life. That mm -hmm. uh, He's not attached to anything. He's just Christ alone. He is. Yeah. He's the truth, and He's <laughs> whatever. You know, He's everything. Whatever I need Him to be, He's just that. Yeah. And now I am so strong in my faith and in my trust for God. And it was the alone, the true alone time. You know, yeah, the truth. Like, oh, I do get alone. You know, I am alone. I'm, I do. But when you are, it's nobody else but you, and nobody you ain't got nobody it. else to rely on, but God, then you mm -hmm. have, you have found the alone space. Yeah. That's awesome. So right here on the Morning Jam podcast with your sister and friend, Crystal Cross, special guest, Sierra. Stalwart. <laughs> Sierra, give us just a little bit of oh, what, yeah. um, what did you say? You um, teach women to be purpose -filled business. life coach. Be awesome. Yes. So tell us just a little bit. We only have like five minutes, maybe four now at the most. So just tell us what all you and Trey of, of that. So two, two steppers. So I, in a recent past life, I was top 1.01%. And that used to make me feel so great. And my network marketing company um, had a booming business, 500 women. And I thought that, you know, God wanted me to be in that space. And I started to hear the women on my team tell me that they had all these fears. Um, they didn't have passion. And I started to minister to them. 
And I was feeling like I am not enough. I, I cannot, I, I, was em- I was empty because I was pouring myself out to them. And I had just so much burden. I had burden. I just carrying everybody's stuff and I'm not, I wasn't supposed to do it. And so I hired a coach, a business coach. And she told me, well, one, you're meant to be a business coach. And two, you need to lay that all at Jesus feet, you know, lay it all. And so, and she let me know the things she like the parts that you love so much about your network marketing role is that you get to coach. That's the parts that you're loving. The mm. parts that you are not liking is cut anymore when you've been so good at it and has seen so much sense is because God is telling you, you are done in this lane. You're done. She's like, and you've been running from it. And I was. And so I started to use the things that I was hearing and the way I was coaching to help me get through the next stage, which is be, instead of being known, Sierra Star Wars is the one who sells makeup and the one who asked people to join her team. I was known for Coach C. And what Coach C meant to most is I'm going to help you you know, make six figures, make five figures in network marketing. And then that turned into being the fearless coach, see, which now turns into, because God has been calling me and says, now you are ready to do what I truly called you to do in this, to help women see me and build purpose, build business, because I took, called them to do something. And so now we are officially launching on April 29th, our new program. And we're accepting applications for women who, have God-sized dreams who God has told you you are meant to build a business, not network marketing, but he wants you to build a business. And I am here to help you, make it easy for you so you don't have to spend countless hours searching on Google, trying to find all the things. And I help you hear and discern the voice of God so you know so you know how he's helping you and what he's telling you what to do. So <laughs> that is so awesome. And I'm so honored to have you on the Morning Jam podcast. So let the people know where they can connect with you and get a hope to you. Yes. So oh. Instagram <laughs> at Sierra underscore Stalwart. That's C I E R R A underscore S T A L L W O R T H. Awesome. Awesome. We are so honored to have you and thank you. We're going to have you back, sis, because this was yes. really great. We didn't get all into it. But love you guys right here. This is this your friend, Crystal Cross. You guys be blessed. Peace. Bye. Peace. If you enjoyed this podcast, tune in each week on thinkingoutloudnetwork.com. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share with your friends and family. Until next time, peace.